So let's play around with Elasticsearch SQL. I find it's really a delight to use. Uh, it's just a nice familiar syntax that everyone's familiar with in the world of uh, data processing at least. Let's do a really simple query just to describe the movies table, which is really our movies index under the hood. Again, all you need to do is send a post request to underscore xpack slash SQL, that like so, curl dash x post, 127.0.0.1 colon 9200 slash underscore xpack slash SQL dash D single quote. And we will just uh, do a query that contains the following SQL command. So you just type in whatever SQL you want. In our case, let's do describe movies. And that's it. Cool. All right. Um, well, we got back some data. So it's telling us, you know, what the columns are in our movies virtual table here. That's really our index. A little hard to read it, though, like all in one line. We can make that easier to read. Uh, to do that, we're going to use the format option here. It's uh, not as simply a matter of doing question mark pretty like we would before. So the uh, style's a little bit different. Instead, we'll say question mark format equals txt as part of that initial command. And that's a lot nicer to look at, right? So this is what you would expect to see from a real SQL interface. Pretty cool stuff. Just a little table of every column in our index, uh, its data type, and what it's mapped to. So that's very, uh, very convenient. So we even have our title.keyword there that has the uh, keyword mapping of our title still in there. Cool stuff. All right, so now we can actually like start playing around with it and like doing some more meaningful queries. Uh, let's uh, hit the up arrow to save us some typing. And for another query, let's say select title from movies limit 10. So just selecting the first 10 titles from our movies index. And it worked pretty darn quickly too, huh? So I mean, how cool is that? We're just doing straight up SQL here on Elasticsearch. Like that's all you need to know now to actually use Elasticsearch. I think that's kind of awesome. Um, there's no wonder people are excited about this. Let's do something even more uh, complicated. So let's say select both the title and the year from the movies index, uh, where year is less than 1920 and order it by the year field. Now this would be like a pretty big effort if you were to like construct that JSON by hand to actually speak uh, Elasticsearch's native language, right? But in SQL, it's much more compact and much more intuitive. And it worked, so there you have it. Um, every movie released before 1920 sorted by the year of release. And these are the oldest movies in our database, starting with a trip to the moon in 1902. Cool stuff. And apparently there was a uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in 1916 that predated the Disney version. Hmm, that might be interesting to watch sometime. As we mentioned, you can also use this to actually translate SQL into DSL. So if you do want to figure out what would this look like if I were to do this, do this quote unquote the hard way, you can do that. All we have to do is say, let's go back to that first line there. So after SQL, we're going to say slash translate. And now instead of format equals text, we're going to say just say pretty. I'm not sure why it's inconsistent in that syntax, but it is. And now what, let's see what this does. So that gives us back the actual JSON query that it's going to execute under the hood. So if you want to like figure out really quickly how to optimally compose a JSON query that is in native Elasticsearch language, if you will, from a SQL command, that might be a way to do it. Pretty neat. All right. But hey, it gets even cooler. There is actually a standalone SQL client you can use that really makes this feel like a database. Like you don't have to deal with curl at all or HTTP requests. It even hides that from you. Like if it wasn't easy enough already, it gets even easier. So let's go to the CD into user share Elasticsearch. And from here, we'll say sudo bin slash Elasticsearch dash SQL dash CLI command line interface for SQL. Oh yeah. Oh, and we're in. How cool is that? We have a SQL prompt that we can just mess with. So let's mess with it. Let's do exactly the same thing as before. Let's start with a describe movies. And there's my movies table described for me. And uh, we can do a select on here just like we would with any other SQL client. I love this. Select title year from movies where year is less than 1930. Order by year. Oh yeah, and it just works, and it's super, super fast. Um, yeah, so we just like pull up every movie before 1930, sorted by release date. Um, 
Yeah, so if you have da data analysts uh, who are familiar with SQL already and they want to interface with, interface with Elasticsearch, it is now super easy to do that. You can treat your Elasticsearch cluster just like a SQL database. Again, there are some limitations. There are certain data types that we can't handle with this, but uh, for a lot of problems, you can do this. I mean, that's kind of awesome. When you're done with this, you can keep playing Keep playing if you want, uh, but just type in quit semicolon to get out of it when you're done. And yeah, that's Elasticsearch SQL in a nutshell. Pretty new feature, but a pretty exciting one.